Greetings from the ThemeRex team. Today I'll show you how you can create and manage tables in your WordPress professionally with the TablePress plugin. Let's go to our dashboard. Then Plugins, Add New. In the search field type in TablePress. Then click Install Now. And then activate it. On the first screen, you can opt in for updates. I'll skip it for now. I will find the plugins menu in your left side panel and then same tabs on the top of your screen. The old tables tab will show you all your created tables. It also allows you to add or import tables. In the add new table, you can create a table from scratch. We will return here in a minute. The import tab allows you to import your pre-made tables via Excel or CSV file, URL or by manual import. You can also choose if you want to create a new table, replace the existing table or simply append the new rows. The export tab allows you to export your table, obviously when you have them. Plugins option will allow you to add a custom CSS code and control where you want your table press menu displayed. And finally, in the About section you can learn about the plugin, its author, change log and news. Let's go ahead and add our table. Let's give it a name and some description. I will keep 5 rows and 5 columns as it suggests and click Add Table. So here we have our table ID, short code, name, description and Excel-like table. The right click will give us different customization options. Below the table we have the same clickable manipulations like insert link, image, copy, paste, edit, etc. You just click on the cell and choose the action. Next we have the table options like header, footer, background colors, hover effects, show height, table name and description and extra CSS classes. And in the features you can add table sorting, filtering, pagination, display table information and enable horizontal scrolling in the table. I will use the horizontal scroll in our features. Ok, let's go up and work with our table. First I'll delete the E column. Right click on the head of the column and then delete. I will also delete the fifth row. But if you want to add a new row, right click and then append row. But I'll still delete it because I don't need it. Let's add some values. Let's say the first column is my products. The second column is the product image. The next column is the link to my products. Then we will have a price. And let's append a new column and add the number of cells. Ok, that's the header of my table. Now I'll add product number 1, product number 2 and product number 3. Now let's add the image for our first product. Below we have these options. Click on the insert image and choose the one that you need. You can also correct the generated code. For example, I'll change the size of the image from 300 to 60 pixels. Next is the link. Let's open our store and copy some random product link. Then click on the cell, insert link, paste URL and the link text. Once done, click on the add link button. Ok, now let's add some price and number of sales for our product number 1. Let's do the same for our product number 2. First, let's choose the image, copy some product link and then paste it to our cell.
and then add some price and sales for our product number two. And finally, our product number three. Let's add an image, then copy and paste the product link, and finally add a product price and sales volume. Now we need to save our table by clicking on the Save Changes button at the bottom of your screen. Now let's copy the shortcode of our table. We will need it to add it to our post. On our website let's open an article, then click Edit Post. Ok, let's add our table somewhere here. Forward slash and then Table Press. And now Ctrl V to insert our shortcode. Ok, the table has been added and the post is fine. We can update it and check what we got. Very good, our table was added successfully to our post. We have our header and we can sort our table by products, by price or by sales volume. Below we have a number of entries and navigation. Above the table we have an AJAX search field. You can search by entering text or by numbers. I don't like how the number of rows selector is displayed though. It should be in one row and the number placed in the center. So let's inspect the block. Ok, we should make the Select Container class display inline block and make the Select Align Center. So let's go to our table settings and open plugin options. Let's add the CSS code. For the div class Select Container we will add the display style inline block. And for the select class fill initit, let's add a style text align center. Save the changes and update the page. Good, our changes were applied successfully. Hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe for more useful tutorials.